Seems to me you're from a farce.
Lieutenant on great. Giant tracks. And my blood's course is hopes. It's time, how time I was homeward bound to the modest abode whose corners I roamed. I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> right you are. They never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Who were these men? My crew. Tall ones, Wilma. Why do you... We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping him build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you... Promise, won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Not much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? 
Don't know, don't ask. Food suits me. Suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, damn it. You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. Bad or starved to death. But I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. I'm looking for Hjalmar on crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew, aimed to defeat the giant. Oh, oh, I saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor sheep they were in, neath the red, fallen Viggy. And just between you and me, that boy is not quite right in the head. Oh, the young on Crete was here too. Remember when this was? When what was? When Hjalmar on Crete was here with his men. Oh, that? No, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though. They say where they were headed? Did they, Wilmar? Oh, hey, aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, garden, absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Hjalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it, all on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really aim to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember. Almar's encampment. They were attacked. Broken back. As if he fell from a height. Many wounds. Must have fought for a long time. Taken by surprise. But they fought off the attack. Two people came through here. Separately. The These tracks are older. Somebody left the camp before the attack. smack in a necker's lair and cut the beast down. Hardy folk, these skelligers.
didn't come back for his arrows. slowed the pursuer. Archer was determined to kill him. Wonder why. here first, but kept going. Another track. Kept going, though he could barely walk. Hmm. Definitely came through here. Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. Took a second arrow here. Got him good this time. Now where'd that archer go? Must be one of Yalmar's men. Now where'd that archer go? Dragged him into the cave. Wonder if he's still alive. Archer was wounded too.
cooking something? Huh? Cooking? Hey! You there! Help me! Water's getting hot! Ah! Ah! Shut it! I need that man. No! We win human from mirrors! I figure it out! <laughs> Play me for the man, then. If I win, I take him with me. If I lose, I'll jump in the pot, too. Good! Good! <laughs> what? Why riddle? Why? No bubble! First riddle. Not eat, not drink. Big E, B. Step, big key. Big he bash! A troll, of course. Uh, good troll. Now you ask. I'm light as a feather, but even a troll can't hold me for long. <laughs> Let's get out of here. You all right? Never go in a sauna again, long as I live. Other than that, I think I'm fine. You saved my life. How can I thank you? I'm looking for Hjalmar. Hjalmar? Curious where he is myself. Him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise, he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Hjalmar? The expedition. Tell me about it. Started like the best ballads. With a hearty storm. Sail whip finally caught sight of shore, but then sirens attacked, as if they'd just been biding their time. But we'd have come through somehow, I know it, if not for the bloody helmsman. Helmsman made a mistake? I'd say his ma made the mistake. Birthed them arseways or something. Dim that one. Heard tales and was so afeard of sight. Steered us right into the rocks. Lost a few men. Had to drag the wounded on litters. And the sirens pestered us the whole while. Yalmar kept blowing his horn. But we'd come too close to the hillside and he brought an avalanche down on us. Not your lucky day, it seems. What happened next? We found that daft bugger in the ship. Then pitched camp near the guard tower. Things seemed to calm. Croc sent me here to find Yalmar. New king will soon be chosen on Ard Skellig. Everybody's waiting for the young on Crate's return. So it started already. Yalmar, ruler of all Skellige. Doubt he's cut out for it. Yalmar's irresponsible, stubborn, and heeds no counsel. But he's a born leader. Been mates since we were lads. With him, man, Ceres. Ceres has put forth her claim to the throne as well. Ceres? But she's... Well, she's... Like father, like daughter. What about Crack? He support her? He let her set off on some daft quest. Wasn't thrilled, especially since Sarah set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og. And no one. She went alone? 
damn the dogs! If Yalmar'd only... Has she come back, do you know? Yeah, she's back. Did what she set out to do, too. Thank the gods. Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair, in the caves above the village. Yalmar decided the best way there'd be to cross the lake. Viggy the loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had the watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Faro steal Yalmar's Hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. And? You catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he drew the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Decided I was ready to cook today. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. I'll go with you. Luckily the trolls didn't use my bow for kindling. Good. Let's go. chased them. They ran toward the caves. Someone tripped and fell, but managed to get away. This way. Another track. Blood trail leads to the cave. Need to find another way. Giant tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up. Hmm. Definitely came through here.
clean cut. Head probably went flying. Fought to the bitter end. Thorsten. Sliced her up. Two men, looks like. Rest of the crew went on. Wonder how many were left. Yalmar lost a lot of men here. Arvid and Tordorach. They was dead set on coming with us. Caved in. Shot half a quiver into her. Near twenty of them. 
but no Yalmar. Show me what you got. Show me a pantry and I'll show you the mice. This way. Lots of old tracks. Giant must have come through here often.
Need to look around for tools. Blacksmithing tools. But ornamented. Gotta be the ones Joanna mentioned. came down the mountain, barged into the village, then kicked the gate down from the inside. sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Speakerog. Alone. Couldn't wait. No. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone would steal the giant out from under you. Ceres? She staked a claim to the throne then? And you'd have rather gone with her? I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait! Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. You know me? Our bards sing ballads about you. My father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. <laughs> I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a skellige lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Yeah. Where's the rest of your crew? Good question. Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after the battle on the lake. Good thing you showed up when you did. Cause Leif's wounds need tending. Those bitches tore him up good. But I suppose if it had all gone smoothly, it would have made for a dreadfully short ballad about our heroic adventure. Seems more doomed than heroic to me. No. That's just the gods looking to see what metal we're made of. They'll soon get their answer. <sighs> Your father sent me to find you. I have a giant to defeat. Head home soon as I've done that. Gotta help Leif first. Leif's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt.
Hurry now! Pick up the pace! See your rare to go? Enormous horse, son, he is. Wonderful. Geralt, help me smash that. We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way. I cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. Getting cold there. Gotta be close. Careful now. One odd step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrate? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Guess he should stay in the cage then. What? I'll not forget this on great. You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now! Yourself. We never knew with Viggy. Might have rushed at the giant bare fist as soon as he was out. And that might have spelled death for us all. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Yalmar the Giant Slayer sounds better. It was your venture. You deserve the glory. Hmm. I believe you're right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Want to look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port.
Gonna head back to Ard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed a giant, won back Onvik, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. Like Ceres. Regret ever setting out on this expedition? What's the matter now? Giant's dead, and the folk of Unvik can go home. And Cyrus? She back yet? Yeah, and she did what she set out to do on Speakerog. She always liked competing with me. Except so far, I've always won. Well, time I was on my way. So long, Geralt. Thanks for your help. So long, Uncrate. Closed. Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. So maybe I ought to stop by another time. All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krakowitz. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent? No. Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me. Not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it... Should be you. Because you've got fur glowing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the Giant Slayer? Us! Stop your shite boasting! Ceres! <laughs> hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so. so. My stubborn, fierce, mule headed. Exactly! <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Sip. Don't see Krach. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell, Witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fifty cups with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Respect, Witcher. Did you sever his head? Beautiful. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking? This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk, listen and you'll understand. 
The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favourable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yarns will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. <laughs> They're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? Then you... But Skelliger wants a different ruler, the kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, before, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Uh, Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. Pull through. 
A shot grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugas, and now you threaten my son. I will not step to this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabbit dog! Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilled. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Damn it. Things have sure gotten messy. That's putting it mildly. We've clues to examine. Things to consider. We must find out how this came to be. Elseways. We've no time for that. I know where to find the guilty. Wait? Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened? Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn do, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos, as you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. No! The gates were shut! All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey, before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. 
Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards... Mushrooms? Bowls empty. But the scent's in the air. Coming from... Somewhere else in this room. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. All the horns are empty. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. Audric. Shit, no more than a kid. Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Dragadar. Skald's played his last. Massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stangrim, maybe? Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... Human blood? Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were- Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. I think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. The cat we've not seen since the Red Funeral. Fewer died then, but of a yard son of a... Freyr or a mother? Mind if I interrupt? Already have? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with... Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Mardrom related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children. Warriors who ate Mardrome were said to transform- Only a legend, I know. Still. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind. Soothe it. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways. Initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrome. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. 
Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on. We could find some clues there. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's gotta flow. But so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> the stench is up right behind you. That's a relief. and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! There's another <coughs> exit behind the barrels, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. Burned alive? Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. This is secret passage. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Once. Ah. Uh, Place of power. Bygone days. Should draw from it. the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. Nearby, something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No, it can't be. What is it? Arnvald's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. Iron Bolt! Stop, Toma. damn it! 
that! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him! You don't stand a chance. We'll see you like that! Come on, Roach. started. No on create should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea, but I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar on vault. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan in the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the mead. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boona Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. "'Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests." "'There's reason in these words." "'Have you any proof to confirm your accusation?" "'I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald." "'Zerus speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. When Ceres and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in! Good man. He's a servant to Oncreate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncreate lackey? Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Bernard's right, Cyrus. 
is all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, Wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. You gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Son, Rika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crape. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. When I had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinate, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. Might join you later. Counting on it. As are my children. <laughs>